Welcome. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, thank you, uh, Acting Foreign Minister Katrugalos, as well as the entire delegation uh, for traveling here today. We truly appreciate it. Uh, it's my honor to welcome you to Washington to mark a significant development today in U.S.-Greek relations. We launched today the inaugural U.S.-Greek Strategic Dialogue. Uh, it caps a year of historic progress uh, since Prime Minister uh, Tsipras came to Washington and met with President Trump. Uh, almost a year, time flies. Uh, and at that time, the President spoke of the tremendous opportunities to lay before our two countries, Greece and the United States. Uh, since those words were spoken, our two countries have turned opportunities into concrete achievements, particularly as Greece, after a challenging decade, returns to economic normalcy and renewed growth. Today, our teams discuss matters as varied as far-reaching as defense and security, law enforcement, counterterrorism trade, investment, and energy cooperation. The commitments that each of us made will lead to a stronger, brighter future of collaboration on each of those fronts. Greece has been a critical ally of the United States. Now more than ever, we are pleased to see Greece emerge once again as a leader and pillar of regional stability in the Eastern Mediterranean. That region is an important strategic frontier, and the United States is working to strengthen our relations with stable democracies, democratic allies there, allies like Greece and Cyprus and Israel. Uh, one way we're doing this is through military cooperation. Greece is assisting the United States with naval activities and NATO cooperation at Suda Bay, and by providing a training platform for military aircraft at bases throughout the region. We appreciate very much all this support, as well as Greece's progress under the Visa Waiver Program. Each of those steps contributes to our mutual security. In June, Greece signed the PRESPA Agreement, which will have positive economic impacts and open Greece as a gateway to the Balkans. We congratulate the Greek government for its work in reaching this agreement. This agreement, it will, it will allow your neighbor to join NATO and the EU as the Republic of North Macedonia. It will also strengthen the Balkans against Russia's malign influence. Finally. Uh, there are Greece's efforts to diversify its energy sourcing and routing. The Trans-Adriatic Pipeline that runs across northern Greece will enable Europe, for the first time in history, to receive significant volumes of natural gas from the Caspian Sea. It will also help countries like Bulgaria reduce their energy reliance on Russia. And as we've seen this week, Greece's first purchase of U.S. liquefied natural gas further demonstrates its commitment to diversifying supplies and enhancing shared economic ties. Uh, I wanted just again to say thank you. It was a wonderful strategic dialogue. Uh, the United States recognizes you as a key player in the Eastern Mediterranean, and we thank you so much for being our excellent ally. Thank you very much. It was really a milestone in our uh, uh, long-standing relationships. Strategic dialogue uh, does not uh, mark just uh, an effort to keep the momentum of the big success of Salonika affair, where the United States has been the honored country, but also to promote the strategic interests of both our countries. Our relations are maybe in the best uh, apex, in the apex, in the best point ever, and that uh, reflects a lot of factors. First of all, alignment of interests in the area. Second, commonality of values. Third, recognition of uh, the uh, stabilization uh, efforts of Greece in the whole area of the Balkans and also in the Mediterranean and the Middle East. We are not just uh, uh, trying to protect our national interest stricto sensu, but being a factor of stability and peace in the Balkans and uh, in the Middle East. Therefore, we have uh, proceeded with uh, the PRESPES agreement, which is a mutually, uh, uh, mutually beneficial agreement between both us and our northern neighbors. For the same reason, we have uh, proceeded uh, with a, a number of regional, multilateral, and trilateral initiatives in the Mediterranean. I'm just mentioning the Rhodes Conference, which aspires to be a regional system of security and cooperation, which uh, uh, already comprises more than 20 for countries, Arab and uh, South Europeans. 
our initiative for interreligious dialogue and protection of religious minority in the Middle East, and of course, a very big number of trilateral uh, cooperation, including Cyprus, us, Israel, Egypt, Jordan, and other countries of the area. And we, we have very much welcome uh, uh, present, uh, future presence of even the United States in these uh, trilateral schemes, especially with regarding uh, Israel and, uh, and Cyprus. Finally, it was also at the level of uh, the economy for us an important meeting. As uh, Secretary Pompeo has said, we have finally left behind us the most severe crisis the Western nation had to face. We changed our economic model so as to use our cooperative advantages. Two of them are the geopolitical position of our country, a real bridge between Asia, Europe, and Africa. Therefore, we want to become a hub of energy and transports, and we have discussed all these issues. And the second comparative advantage is exactly that we have now the most educated uh, young generation of Greeks ever. Therefore, we wanted to develop cooperation with the uh, United States regarding cutting-edge technologies, especially in the levels in the, in the areas of uh, 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 IT, new technologies, media. So, I must thank again Secretary Pompeo and his team for uh, this important, uh, historic, I could say, initiative, the strategic dialogue, which both sides have agreed to continue in a structured way in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.